In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate pump flow rate based on the rate at which a circular tank drops in level while we have flow coming into that tank. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, a pump was noted to lower the level in a basin by 10 feet in 12 minutes and 20 seconds, while a steady flow rate of 180 gallons per minute was entering the basin. The basin diameter was 12 feet. What was the discharge rate of the pump expressed in gallons per minute? Well, let's pull those numbers out so we can have something to work with. They want us to find the discharge rate of the pump in gallons per minute. So we write that down. That's our unknown. That becomes the target. We're looking for a flow rate in gallons per minute. They also tell us that the basin dropped in level 10 feet in 12 minutes and 20 seconds. So our level drop is 10 feet, we write that down, and the time that it took is 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Well, 12 minutes and 20 seconds, we don't wanna work with combined units, so we wanna get this all into minutes. 20 seconds divided by 60 seconds is .333 repeating, it's a third of a minute. So I rewrote 12 minutes, 20 seconds, 12.33 minutes, and we'll be working with the 12.33 minutes. We also see that there's 180 gallons per minute flowing into this basin. Now when we get to the end of our problem, we're going to need to add in that 180 gallons per minute because the pump that's discharging from this basin is pumping at a rate enough to overcome the 180 gallons per minute coming in and still drop the level, the 10 feet, in this 12.33 minutes. So we're pumping in at 180 gallons per minute and our diameter is 12 feet. So we'll use that in calculating the volume. So we first need to find out the volume of the level drop. So we use our volume formula that says 0.785 times the diameter times the diameter times the depth times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. And when we do this, we'll find the total volume drop during this 12.3 minute period. So we plug in our diameter of 12 feet, our depth drop of 10 feet, and we do this math. And when we do that, we find that that total volume was 8,455 gallons. So that's the level drop. Well, we drop that level, the 8,455 gallons, in 12.33 minutes. So that'll give us our gallons per minute if we divide the 8,455 by the 12.33. So when we do that, we see that that level was dropping at a rate of 686 gallons per minute. But remember, the level was dropping at that rate at the same time 180 gallons per minute were coming in. So our discharge rate has to be this 686 gallons per minute plus the 180 gallons per minute that was coming in for a total of 866 gallons per minute. And this, my friend, is how that problem is solved.